Hello and welcome to Classic Shirt Friday. This week we're continuing the series in which, with your help, we aim to find the best shirt in the history of the European Championships. The two shirts with the most votes from the Euro 2004 video were the Portugal and France home shirts. And they are through to the grand final in June, where one shirt will be crowned the greatest Euro shirt ever. Next up we've got Euro 2000 and another eight nominations for you to choose from. Yes, from the tournament that was co-hosted for the first time by Belgium and Holland. Holland. It had its fair share of shocks and surprises. Yeah, controversy, heroes, villains. Of course, plenty of classic football shirts. But which was the best? Well, we've got eight nominations for you to choose from. And to thank you for getting involved, everybody who votes will be entered into a draw to win £50 in website credit. Details at the end of the show. Right, where should we start? Well, we left them out last time and we got into quite a bit of trouble. Yeah. Someone should be ashamed of this. Probably put them first this time. Mm. Italia! Italia! There was no chance of a fix this time because Italy were wearing one of the greatest shirts ever, let alone at Euro 2000. Well, hey, are we supposed to be neutral? Yeah, but come on, you know it is. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, nice. Made by Kappa, it was the first of the revolutionary combat model. Made from 87% nylon and 13% lycra for a super tight fit. And it looks superb on the likes of Totti, Maldini, Nesta and Del Piero. Kappa went back to the classic Italia crest that was last used at the 1982 World Cup to add a retro touch to this superb modern design. And the spirit of 82 was with this Azuri side as they won every match up to the semi-finals where they knocked out co-host Holland on penalties. With keeper Francesco Toldo in stunning form before they suffered golden goal heartbreak at the hands of France in Rotterdam. Another team that got done by a golden goal was Portugal who were wearing this simple design Nike home shirt in a dark red hue with a yellow trim on the collar and sleeves. The Portuguese were the surprise package of the tournament. Coming from behind to beat England 3-2 with Figo finding Siemens top corner from 30 yards. A hat-trick from wing wizard Sergio Conceição sent Germany home early. And a Nuno Gomes brace ended Turkey's adventure. And then it all kicked off in the semis after the referee changed his mind and gave France a penalty late into extra time. Abel Xavier got so mad his hair went white. It was handball though. Don't say that. They'll shove you. Next up, Yugoslavia. Playing their last major tournament as Yugoslavia. The Blues had a variant of the primary Adidas 2000 template with white curves down the sides. Their star men included set-piece specialist supremo Sinisa Mihailovic, experienced captain and forward Pridrag Miatovic, and Aston Villa reject turned lethal striker Savo Milosevic. Don't you mean Savo Misilotovic? No, he was joint golden boot winner with five goals scoring in every match. Oh. Mm. They did concede more than that in one match though. Crashing out 6-1 to Holland in the quarters. Denmark didn't make it to the quarters. Or even score a goal for that matter. But they did have a unique shirt with some really interesting features. They didn't score a goal? Features such as a zip collar that was all the rage at the time. A large DBU badge incorporated into the design and reflective Hummel chevrons on the sleeves. With Thomas Graveson and Stig Tofting, the Danes did at least have the hardest team at the Euros. Even Mike Tyson was a fan of their work. England beat Germany for the first time in a competitive match since 1966. And again, they were wearing red. This time with a navy heavy cotton collar with an interesting terry toweling material with form UV technology. Basically, it feels like a dressing gown. Here we've got Martin Keown's spare long sleeve shirt from the tournament so you can see the official printing and sleeve patches. Beautiful. Shearer headed home a classic Beckham cross to give Kevin Keegan's three lines a 1-0 win, which meant they only needed to draw with Romania to reach the quarterfinals. What could possibly go wrong? Phil! Uh, Keon showing no sympathy for the devil. This shirt was worn in the best match of the tournament. After 90 minutes of their final group match against Yugoslavia, Spain were heading home. Five minutes later, they had won the group. Mendy had to level with a penalty before Alfonso volleyed home a dramatic 95th minute winner. The home shirt features nice use of navy for the sleeves and collar. With yellow piping running down the sides and a fully embroidered badge and Adidas logo. But in the quarters Pep Guardiola was out masterminded in the midfield by Zidane. As hitmen Raul and Manitis failed their assignment against France. In Bruges. The co-hosts were rampant in this Nike home shirt. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's, it's only a mannequin. 
We've got to use it next week. It's all right. Seeing off Dark Horse's Czech Republic coming from behind to beat France before hammering Yugoslavia with Patrick Kleiber banging a hat trick. The dry fit shirt is heavily ventilated and the simple design teaming up with black shorts reference the kit worn back in 1974 when the Cruyff term was invented. With Davids in midfield, Overmars and Zenden on the wings and Burkamp up front with Kleiber, it looked like nothing could stop the Dutch. But then they ran into Francesco Toldo and their fear of penalties. Missing two in normal time and three in the shootout to bottle it big time in Amsterdam. Yep, Stam's ended up in the Adidas Euro 2000 advert. France became the first team to win the Euros while being world champions in this lovely Adidas shirt. Le double. Now with a gold star above the badge, a red vertical stripe across the chest and on the sleeve to make up the colours of the national flag. France overcame the group of death before switching to their white away kit to see off Spain and Portugal. Le Bleu were back in the final. With Zidane the star of the tournament and world's best, as well as Henri and Vieira, France were big favourites to beat Italy. But they were seconds away from defeat before Will Tord equalised and then in extra time Trezeguet fired home the golden goal winner. So there you have our eight nominees for the best shirt of Euro 2000. To vote, simply leave a comment below stating the name of the team that you think has got the best shirt. The two with the most votes will go through to the grand final in June. And everybody who votes has a chance to win £50 in CFS credit. So get voting and we'll decide the winner in a week's time. Thanks and we'll see you next week. See ya.